Biodiversity is declining globally at rates unprecedented in human history, causing fundamental harm to nature and people. IUCN draws urgent attention to the nature emergency while recognizing that it must be tackled in tandem with climate change. We can address this emergency through the post-2020 global biodiversity framework with targets that add up from local to national to global levels. Together, we must halt the loss of biodiversity by 2030 and strive through restoration for net gain by 2050. The framework must be for everyone. The Rio and biodiversity related conventions, all governments, the private sector, indigenous people, local communities and all of civil society. It must clearly link to the 2030 agenda and communicate how biodiversity conservation is critical to sustainable development. A crucial ally is nature itself. We must use nature-based solutions which benefit nature and people by protecting, sustainably managing and restoring ecosystems. Fundamental to these are standards, such as the IUCN Global Standard for Nature-Based Solutions, which ensure that these solutions are truly effective and qualifiable. As we tackle the nature emergency together, the economy is key. We must stop investing in activities that deplete nature and we must abolish incentives to exploit and degrade nature. Operations in sectors that can negatively affect biodiversity, including extractives, agriculture, infrastructure, forestry and fisheries, must change and contribute to biodiversity. Governments are beginning to insist that companies disclose their impacts on biodiversity. And the finance sector is recognizing the risk to the economy posed by the biodiversity loss and starting to charge for loans contributing to it. Investment is necessary and must leverage the achievement of biodiversity targets while generating economic benefits and conserving biodiversity. In this way, we can redirect efforts towards building economies that sustain and regenerate nature. We look forward to discuss this idea further at the IUCN World Conservation Congress in Marseille, where the post-2020 global biodiversity framework will be high on the agenda.